Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a timeless reading for you guys. Um, whenever this message finds you, it's when I believe it needs to find you, okay? Even if it's a long time after this video has been posted. Guys, welcome to the Pisces Club. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. If you want to become a part of the Pisces Club, all you need to do is click on that subscribe button, okay? Um, so I was doing the reading, I was feeling in the zone, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> the video got caught off. So, now I have all the cards laying on the table, so I'm gonna basically um, pick up where I left off, okay? What I'm seeing here in this reading for you guys is that you are entering a very powerful phase of your life in which you are sort of like wrapping up the last chapter in a very practical way. It seems like you are dotting the I's and crossing the T's. You are sort of like making inventory, taking from the past what is valuable and bringing it into the future to sort of like merge it um, with the new possibilities. It's kind of like when you clean your phone, you clean your storage, you get rid of everything that's unnecessary and you make, you keep what's valuable and then you keep um, that space open for the new. That's sort of like what I'm getting here. Um, some of you guys are exploring um, through this Mercury retrograde situations from the past, maybe relationships, dynamics, um, projects that you had, maybe that you had forgotten about, maybe that have a lot of potential, but it's not yet being um, used, right? So it's like you're retrieving things from the past. You're going back and taking what is valuable, bringing in bringing it with you here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a soulmate kind of energy. This could be a co-worker. This could be someone who you feel very strongly connected to. Um, this could be someone from the past, maybe someone you've known from childhood or teenage years. Um, this could be romantic, as I mentioned. This could be work-related, family-related, but this person seems to be very important for you at this time. This person seems to be sort of like building with you in a very abundant way, in a very abundant mindset and perspective. Not all the information is here yet. You know, you may feel like you don't have all the answers and some of those answers or the lack thereof could bring you a little bit of anxiety for sure. Sorry. Um, but it's like your intuition is pulling you forward. It's like moving you into what you know you've always meant to do. You've always been meant to do. Do or experience. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo person who's bringing a lot of bright, shiny colors into your life. And some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio who is bringing in a lot of a sense of mystery and spirituality and sort of like this dangerous mysticism to them. And I mean dangerous because I feel like you don't know what's going to happen with this person. You've got the moon here. You've got the high priestess. So it, it kind of feels like you can sense that something important is gonna happen with this soulmate person but you don't have all the answers just yet some of you guys by not having the answers you may feel a little bit left out in the cold you may feel uncomfortable by not having the answers it's as though you would like to start a relationship with this person but maybe you don't know if they would be up for it so it's kind of like lingering in the air a little tense a little undefined and since right now, Pisces, it seems like you are in a period in which you really feel like taking care of details, wrapping things up with the world here, um, it seems like this is going to be particularly uncomfortable or going to feel particularly stagnant because you would like to define everything right now. But there seems to be information missing here. Perhaps with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Inevitably, you are jumping. This is so funny because yesterday I was um, having a very important meeting with my assistant who honestly has become so much more. 
And we were saying that the company is growing, whether we want it or not, it's growing like massively. And it's, a, it's as though the universe is kind of like kicking us off the cliff, you know, it's just like, it's going to happen, you know, even if we feel afraid, even if we feel um, resistant. So it's funny that this particular illustration um, shows this in a very clear way. It's like you are being inspired to jump and take a leap of faith, but you're also kind of forced to a little bit. That's what I'm getting. And, you know, this new beginning is going to be very stimulating for your mind. And for your soul. I feel like this is um, something that will make you feel sort of like alive again in a way. Not that you don't feel alive Pisces. But it's going to sort of like fuel you <laughs> in a whole new level I guess. But it's like, it's like you know that this is wonderful. But you also want to do it right, it seems. Like you want to incorporate with the Temperance card here, the past with the new in a very gradual, mature way. So it's as though, what if you have like a group of friends that are your real group of friends? You have sort of like um, purged out all of the fake connections and now you have a very strong nucleus of people. And you're contemplating this new relationship with a soulmate. And it's like you want to bring them in, but you don't want to rush it. You want to make sure that the past and the future sort of like create this very beautiful balance, right? So that could be the case for some of you guys. For others of you, um, I do sense with these four cards here that the quality of your sleep is really affecting the perspective that you're having about everything in your life, Pisces, okay? So if you're not having the best quality of sleep right now, really avoid making big decisions at this time, seriously. Because you have the, first of all, the Four of Swords, which is a card that speaks about the need to rest, to recuperate, to take a step back, to disconnect from everything and just go within to rest, okay? Particularly to rest. Not to do introspection like the hermit, just to rest. And then, you know, I see all of these kind of heavy cards, you know, anxiety, pessimism, a sense of abandonment. And I think that this is definitely going to be magnified, Pisces, if you're not getting the proper sleep. It's very easy to focus on everything that could go wrong, you know? On everything that could potentially happen that you don't want to happen. It's so easy to think about all the things that all the things that need fixing versus all the things that are already here. As a homework, you have <laughs> sort of like the obligation, Pisces, <laughs> to take a look around and value the point of your life you're in. Okay, because you are making such powerful progress and the transitions that you're going through are so strong that it's easy for you to get caught up in the details in a wrong way you know just magnify the details in every way possible in order to take care of them yes which is a good thing but also sort of like forget about the fact that you're going through this powerful integration of the past and the future it's beautiful and it's time to sort of like recognize how beautiful it is take a step back um, kind of like that ego perspective right all right guys so I feel inclined to bring in a message from the Halloween Oracle by Stacy DeMarco I am so in love with this deck it really brings in the Halloweeny vibes so let's see what is the most relevant and important message for Pisces at this time Stacey DeMarco, the Halloween Oracle. You can get that one on Amazon. Skull of Flowers. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Creating through the ashes. All right, so taking the ashes of what was, taking the valuable from the past, and creating something beautiful, something new, okay? You can't make this stuff up. It's so freaking accurate. Um, all right, let's read the message completely here for you guys. Let's honor the author this way and really bring in 
the complete guidance from this deck. This is card number. There's no numbers. Okay. <laughs> What are you guys going to do for Halloween? How are you going to deal with Halloween pandemic-wise? Comment below. I can't wait to hear your answers. All right. Skull flowers. To blossom and bloom, the work must be done. Through fire and ashes, our, our fortune it comes. Before flowers are born, they are sweet buds on a plant that came from a smaller form like a seed or a bulb. The seed needs prepared nourishing soil to grow to its full potential. Some plants and trees only seed after a fire or a period of extreme adversity like drought or flood. Sometimes we wish for a life different from the one we have, and that can mean radical change. Sometimes to have a new life, everything falls apart to make it so. And that can be very uncomfortable, kind of like the tower energy. We may lose our relationships or they may change. We may lose our job have to move house or become ill. All big events that lead to a reassessment of the how of our lives. The skull of flower illustrates that there is a sureness and yet a rawness to creating again, to starting afresh. Sometimes the universe give a, gives us a blank slate to work from, so we can build what we really want rather than just settling for less. The skull of flower celebrates not just a kind of phoenix energy, but an energy of success and full bloom through adversity. Beautiful. Love this so much. Yeah, I think this is the perfect way to wrap up everything that we were saying. I'm kind of surprised that the tower isn't here in the in the tarot reading. But I love this. I love this because Pisces, this means that you are entering a new phase. And you know, we've talked about it. It's it's definitely something that's happening. But it also means that there's things in the past to rescue. There's things in the past to value, to cherish, and to bring into the future. And what a beautiful way to use these Mercury retrograde energies, you know, to go to the past and kind of like sort through all of the things that we have forgotten and choose those that have enough potential to be brought into the future with us. I love it, Pisces. Um, so yeah, this is what I have for you guys today. It's going to be a shorter reading. I hope that you guys are enjoying the channel. I am really devoted to um, the Pisces community at this time. I'm doing so many readings and I'm enjoying it so much. It's as though every reading I do energizes me instead of draining me, which is crazy, um, but awesome. So I'm going to continue giving you all as many options in readings as I can. And obviously I don't want to overwhelm you guys, so just take the ones that you feel you need. And you don't have to watch them all, please. You know, I don't want you guys to get like super overwhelmed at all. Um, but yeah, I want to be here for you guys. I want to be available in every way possible so the Pisces Collective and community can grow and always have that sort of like space to find your own answers through the readings. You know, I'm never going to tell you what to do. I'm always going to just sort of like open the space for you to evaluate how you are feeling through my words, okay? So yes, my fishies, thank you so much for being here. If you would like to be a part of the Pisces Club, all you need to do is click on that subscribe button. And I also remind you that on my website, there is a free morning ritual that you can download. Um, I think I've never told you that before. <laughs> uh, I always forget, but it's really nice, very sweet way to start the day. So you can check it out. It's totally free. All right. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.